Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung. This is part two of running Cisco IOS V inside a VMware workstation. Inside of part one, back in part one a couple weeks ago, I told you guys how to extract out the IOS V virtual image from the 1PK download. And it was uh, it took a long time. We finally got everything running inside of VMware Workstation, but it's only one router. What can you really do with one router? You're gonna want to do multiple routers, 10 routers, 20 routers, 30 routers or more if you're studying for CCNP and CCIE. You're gonna wanna do a topology, something like this. And this topology, what you see here, it's got 10 routers, bunch of links, and it's a modified version of what was supposed to be for the CCIE lab builder. It was posted up on the Cisco Learning Network a couple months ago, and I just took and made a couple tweaks and got it down to 10 routers. So in this video, what we're gonna cover is the topology, we're gonna cover how to prepare the VM, and how to clone the VM. You're gonna need to clone this nine times to get a total of 10 virtual machines, and then how to set up Super Putty to be able to remote control into all 10 virtual routers. So covering the topology, you could see here that we've got a central, like a service provider, internet service provider, multiple links here. And then we have like remote offices, regional offices, and a main regional office. I don't know why I called that a main regional office. I should have just called main office, but you get the picture. Notice that I have numbers on all of these links. Ignore this two up here. I forgot to uh, delete that out. So we have a number one, a number two, a number three. Those are just the number on the particular link. So link one, link two, link three, link four. And the reason for that is VMware Workstation has a option in network settings for LAN segments. You can create LAN segments and hook routers to them. And initially, a couple weeks ago, I actually did make part two of this video, and it was how to do it with LAN segments, but uh, that's kind of clunky. The video came out to be about 20 minutes, and you're not you're not going to watch 20 minutes, and it's kind of a stupid method of doing this. Another way of setting up this topology is to just use one LAN segment inside a VMware workstation, and then use sub interfaces between all the routers. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, "Okay, now wait a second here." that's probably gonna require a switch because I'm gonna to need to use VLANs. Well, uh, funny thing is you don't need a switch because we're gonna just sub-interface everything out and it's actually gonna work just fine. So let me show it to you. Let's go into VMware Workstation. We've got our VM from our previous part one up and running. Well, it's not up and running, but it's, it's here. So the way to set this up is remember, you're gonna to need to clone this nine more times. So you need to set this up perfectly or else you're gonna be in a world of hurt later on. So going through the, through the top, memory 384 megs. If you have a beefy machine, if you've got more than 16, you got 16 gigs or more of RAM, if you, if you feel like it, you can change this 384 to 512, that's fine. Now, as far as processor hard drive, you leave that the same. Now, when you get to network adapter, click on network adapter and on your particular machine, it's probably gonna be set to bridged. Click down here to LAN segment. And when you initially click on LAN segment, nothing's actually gonna be there. You notice I have I have LAN segment one through nine there and null, and that's because I've made these beforehand. What you wanna to do to make them is click on LAN segments. And yours is going to look like this. I'm gonna just quickly remove everything. So that's how your VMware workstation is gonna look like. Simply click Add. It's going to fill in LAN segment one, and that's great. That's fine. And then you just go down through these LAN segments, click the drop down, and LAN segment one. And then click the next one, LAN segment one, LAN segment one, and you get the picture. So you're going to do this. And notice that from if you remember from part one, we've got ten network adapters. You really probably don't need ten network adapters. We can get rid of a couple right here. So if you want, you can just remove several of these. So I'm going to remove everything past five, just because we'll never use them. So there we go. OK, now this name pipe thing, copy that into your clipboard, paste it into Notepad, whatever, because we're going to be using that later on. 
Okay, so everything looks pretty good. We've got our memory at 512, everything's set on LAN segment 2, or maybe not. Okay, or LAN segment 1, sorry about that. Okay, LAN segment 1. You can see sometimes it, it just doesn't want to cooperate for some reason. Okay, there we go. Click OK. So now that we have everything set up initially, we're going to want to clone this out. So you right click, manage, clone, click next. The current state in the startup machine, in the virtual machine, click next. You're going to do a full clone, next. And then give it a short name, VIOS2. And click finish. It's going to clone it out. Click close, right click, add, rinse and repeat, clone it again. Next, full clone, and VIOS 3. So basically continue doing that all the way up until 10. Right here I'm going to stop at 3 because I want to keep this video short. Now after cloning it, what you want to do is go into VIOS 2. You're going to need to change the serial port here because remember it is still set on COM 1. Just erase the 1 and change it to a 2 go into your other routers and just change those numbers to match the number of the clone. So 3 is going to be 3, 4 is going to be 4. After all that is set, you are done as far as VMware Workstation. Just power everything on and then go into Super Putty. You can minimize VMware Workstation. And then going into Super Putty, you're going to need to set up your connections and it's pretty easy. Make a folder called VIOS or IOS or 1PK or router gods or whatever you want to do. Here I called my folder VIOS. I'm going to right click on that. We're going to create a new one. So new. Session name just called R1. And then click on serial and then paste in that stuff that I told you from the serial port inside of VMware Workstation. So hopefully you saved it to uh, command line or uh, notepad or something. And then simply click save. And you see it made an entry right there. Now it's really easy to get the other nine. You just right click copy as, change the one to a two, change the one to a two, and click save. And you get the point. We're just changing these numbers really quick and you only need to do this once. After you have all those routers made or all the connections to those routers made, you can single shot slam into all of them by right clicking on the folder and connect all. And my terminal windows are up. And you can see I'm at the initial screen. Cool thing about Super Putty is inside the commands line there, I can type in a command, hit enter, and it will mirror out, it will broadcast out to all my open tabs. Okay, so all of my, all of my routers are now up. You're probably wondering, okay, how, how is this going to work? Well, let's take a look at router 1. You can see that router 1's got three links, gig 00, gig 01, gig 02, right? So if we go to router 1, Let's first give this a host name of R1 and let's show interface status. Oh, IP interface brief, let's do that. Okay, so you can see that because we gave VMware Workstation, we gave the VM five network adapters, we've got five network adapters here. So that's what's cool about using this particular image, it somehow detects what VMware is doing and scales down the, the gig Ethernet interfaces down. So if you were able to take out all, let's say, eight interfaces, only had two left, then you would only have gig 00 and gig 01. If you left all, all 10 in there, you'd get 10. Okay, so using sub vendor interfaces, what you're going to do is everything's connected to that same LAN segment, LAN segment one. And uh, actually, we, we could have actually gotten rid of nine of them and just ended up with gig zero zero. You're going to see what we're going to do in a second. 
we're going to sub-interface it out so the link between R1 and R2 is going to be gig00.12. The link between R1 and R4 is gig00.14. And between 1 and 6, you guessed it, it's gig00.16. And then we're going to do a command called incap.1q, 12, 14, and 16, respectively. And what that does is it's going to tag those packets with that particular VLAN ID. And then it's only going to be able to reach the other side. And of course, on the other side, we're going to need to set the corresponding settings going back to R1. So really what we're doing is we're, we're putting all the configuration on the routers themselves. Inside a VMware workstation, it's very easy, just LAN segment one, but the work's done on the routers after we boot everything up. You're probably thinking, okay, this is, can get kind of complicated, and, and it can, but what's cool with, about this is you can change topologies very quickly by just pasting in different configuration. Okay, let's set up R1, gig00. Or actually, it's going to go into the sub-interface, gig00.12, incap.1q, and it's going to be 12, IP address, and we're just going to put whatever in here. I'm going to keep it simple, 1010.12.1. Then we're going to go into the next sub-interface, dot 14, incap.1q, 14. And the last sub-interface, and this is going to be 16. And we're good there. And of course, don't forget to no-shut the actual interface. And if we show IP interface brief, those are my interfaces. Let's take a look at R2. How are we going to do R2? First, we're going to do hostname R2. And this is going to be easy. I'm going to pretend that, well, actually, we do have uh, the other router set. We've got R1 and R3 connected over there. So the way this is going to work, same as before, same, very similar to R1. We're just going to use gig00, and we're going to sub-interface it out. Now, here I'm typing 12. It doesn't really matter what number you use. A lot of people like using dot .21 because it's going from 2 to 1, but you don't necessarily have to. It doesn't matter. The only thing that does matter is the encapsulation number. So incap.1q12, it has to match the other side, and it's going to be 10.10.12.2. And the subinterface between 2 and 3, it's going to be 23. 23 IP address 10.10.23.2. And remember, do no shut that interface. Very, very easy stuff. And router 3 is very simple. R3, int gig 00. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, there's only one interface there. Do I have to do sub-interface? Actually, yes, you do. Because if you just leave it as the physical interface, you're going to actually connect the whole interface to that LAN segment that all the other routers are connected to, and it's going to get very confusing. So you're going to need to set the sub-interface and the encapsulation to only look for packets coming from R2. So in gig 0 dot incap dot 1q 23, IP address 10.10.23.3. No shut. And then, of course, you would go through to the rest of the 10 routers, do very same thing. And then at the end, save it, rip out the configuration, copy paste into Notepad or something else. That way you don't have to do this over again. Uh, another option I guess you could do is you could snapshot the VMware image and VMware workstation uh, images and then just uh, recover from that to get to the same place. Either way will we'll work. All right, let's see what's going to happen here. If I ping out 10, 10, 12, 2, I should have a response from router 2, and we do. If I go on router 2, and I'll show you a neat trick here. You should know it if you're going for CCIE. If I ping all 255s, 
I'm just going to ping everything. And I should have a response from R1 and R3. Any day now, it's coming up. Okay, 12 ones, router one, and 233 three should be router three. Okay, nothing from router three. Let's see what's going on here. Show IP interface brief. 10, 10, 233, three. Show run, int gig 00 dot 23, int cap dot 1q 23, that looks good. Oh, okay, it finally came back. That was kind of weird. Okay, so everything pings. Everything will now look like from the logical, from this uh, physical diagram right here, it will be connected R1, R2, R3. Now, some things will look weird, and I'll give you a good example of the weirdness, is show CDP neighbor is going to show R2 and R3 as the neighbor. And the reason for that is, well, everything's connected to gig 00. Of course, CDP is going to show everything as the neighbor. But if you just kind of close your eyes and pretend, everything will work just like as it will in the diagram. And if you're going for CCIE, you should be doing some interfaces anyways, because that's kind of the level you are at. Okay, well, that was running Cisco IOS V inside a VMware workstation, setting up the topology, getting a 10 router topology is very easy. Cloning it is easy. You just have to do a couple things. And just to recap, you just have to go into settings, throw everything into LAN segment one. In fact, uh, you get rid of the other network adapters. You can get rid of every single one except the initial one, and it will work just fine. Remember to copy this pipe from serial port settings. And then if you want, you can up the memory on that to 512. And then you clone it, right click, manage, clone, 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 get your 10 routers, fire them up. And then inside of Super Putty, it was really easy. Inside of your sessions, you're going to make a new session. You're going to paste in that pipe. And I lost it. You're going to go back to settings, serial number, serial port, copy that. Control V. Remember to have serial selected. Whoa. There we go. Call it router one. And then after you have that done, what you're going to do is you're going to right click, copy as, change the one to a two, two to a three, three to a four, and just keep going until you get to router 10. And that's all you need to do to get a nice 10 router topology working. Should be fairly quick, but I'm going to give you a little hint for the future. There's no, not going to be a part three. It's going to be a completely different video. All of this will work inside of GNS3 just fine. So stay tuned. Once again, my name's Humphrey Chung with Router Gods. Thanks for watching.